You sure do like to To your opinions talking big like Somebody's listening Nobody's listening Max! 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 Oh! 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 Alright, so uh, another year, another season is bloody over. So uh, now we're going to predict the next season, but this has got to be explained specifically for Mars McGee apparently because he doesn't get it. But uh, last year I uploaded a video called Predicting the 2024 AF4 Ladder in 2023 with a question mark. Um, and it was clearly just a draft ladder, just to like predict the season based off the previous season and not to put too much thought into it just a classic uh not not ca classic sorry a casual video predicting the next season but i also said in the video that the real prediction for the ladder will be the following year around february or march same thing here this is not the real ladder prediction this is just me doing a fun mock prediction based off what i've just seen this season and what teams i think could improve and go downwards that is what i'm predicting right now so uh even though like like, Moss McGee asked me, oh, but why were some predictions so serious then? That's the point. I didn't say, I didn't say I was going to like randomly select teams and just put them in as a joke. I was still predicting it, but it wasn't the real prediction video. The, the guy was so stupid. It's like, it's, 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 it's like explaining something to a toddler. Like, you explain it five times and they still ask the question. And it's fair enough, they're a toddler. Moss McGee's not a toddler. He should understand. Anyway. Let's get back into this, okay? We're completing the ladder. Um, so obviously, uh, this is the draft ladder. So uh, we're not gonna, you're not gonna see the real ladder prediction until February or March next year. Uh, but it's gonna be obviously more formal. I obviously just sit there telling you my predictions. You'll see a club badge in the corner for every team I do, um, etc., etc., etc. This is through tier maker. I wouldn't do a ladder prediction, a proper one through tier maker. So you've got first to fourth, fifth to eighth, ninth to twelfth, thirteenth to fourteenth, sixteenth to eighteenth. It should be thirteenth to fifteenth, you stupid idiots. Uh, what on earth is that? What have I just done? Okay, there you go. So that's better now. So yeah, in first place, Adelaide. No, I'm kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm going to say ninth to twelfth. Uh, Brisbane, I think, will be top four this time. I think because they won the Premiership, I think they will uh, look to have a strong season. And this is not really a good omen, considering the last two Grand Final winners have gone on to have a season finishing outside the eight. So, uh, yeah, Collingwood last year won the flag. This year, not made the finals. Same thing with Geelong. Melbourne made the finals but went out in straight sets but they still made top four i'm gonna say brisbane will be stronger i'm gonna say Brisbane will be stronger i'm gonna say they make top four and get to the prelim and lose dynamic paul is someone who predicted brisbane to get a free peat because they've won this he predicts brisbane have a similar period to hawthorne when they lost the grand final to sydney in 2012 then had a free peat afterwards he reckons he said during the game, if Brisbane win this flag, they'll win two more. We'll see if that happens. But no, that's not based on this. I just thought I'd add context to one of my subscribers uh, bringing up what Brisbane could do if they win the Premiership this year. And uh, they've still got a good squad, so I guess you never know. <laughs> uh, but I always felt like they were coming towards the end of their Premiership window, and this may have been, may been the last chance. Thankfully for them, they took it, but uh, fair enough. Carlton! They're either going to be here or here. I think they can make finals. I also think they could just as easily miss out. I'll put them there for now. Collingwood, I think, will be back. And I'll go as far as saying top four. I'm going to say Collingwood will be top four again. Uh, but I'll put Brisbane above them for now. Essendon, going to leave them there. I'm going to say they do better than Adelaide. Frio, also around there or thereabouts. I don't trust them enough. Geelong, I'll go fifth to eighth. Gold Coast in this area. GWS... 
58 for now. Hold for on 58. I reckon hold for on 5th. I'm saying it with chest. Hold for on 5th. Okay? For now. Giant 7th is crazy though. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, I've not even said Port Adelaide yet. <laughs> uh, Alright, North. Down here. Another dodgy season, I think, for them. West Coast to be a bit higher. I think they'll be higher than uh, bottom three. Um, I've not even said Western Bulldogs yet or Sydney. Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble. All right. All right. So now I'm in a dilemma because I'm thinking to myself, I've messed something up here. <laughs> um, oh, it is too tough to call. All right, Richmond. St. Kilda here. Adelaide down. Melbourne. I've just stuck the balls in the top four for now. So where did Port go? <laughs> I can't see, I, I, I can't predict the bottom three right now. I'm actually just like, I'm thinking like, Adelaide bottom three, surely not. St Kilda bottom three, surely not. West Coast bottom three, they're going to improve, I think. I think they'll improve. I, I don't think they'll be bottom three. But Port are not going to be there. Let me move Essendon down here. Okay, Carlton are out. Carlton are out. <laughs> I predicted all four and fifth a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna stick with that. I said it in a stream. Um, Bulldogs up here. Okay, Giants sixth. Port seventh. Dogs in the eight. Okay, you know what? Sydney sixth. Giants top four. Either Giants or Port top four. Bulldogs in the eight. Carlton just missing out. Frio missing out. Gold Coast being there but still missing out. Melbourne also missing out. I'm going to predict Melbourne below Gold Coast. I could be wrong. One needs to move down. You know what? Screw it. Adelaide down again. <laughs> but is that like harder than I thought? <laughs> Even though it's not a serious prediction, I still want to like kind of predict it in a way. But like, some of these feel too harsh. And some of these I'm doubtful on. Like, Giants just went out in straight sets. Could do one for their confidence. Sydney almost got smashed again, but I think Sydney will make it again. Uh, Sydney below Port. Alright. That is what I'm going with. Okay? It's not great. But that's what I'm going with. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, my premiership flag prediction is Hawthorne. <laughs> we'll see how well that goes down. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. It's a bit safe with some teams. But um, yeah. And I also think the gap between West Coast and the bottom three will be quite big. I didn't think I put Adelaide that low. But that is my other prediction for 2025. Practice. The real one will be in February or March. Remember that. And I'll see you soon. Looking forward to the comments. Obviously the comments as well is also a draft. It's not too serious. So you don't have to go crazy. You won't be on the list for it. Don't worry. Um, but make your draft predictions down below. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time where